London listed Solgold uh, has a diverse uh, portfolio of exploration projects in Ecuador, Solomon Islands and in Australia. In May this year, appointed new chief executive, Alan Martin, and he joins us now. We've got a chance to talk to him about the project. Alan, welcome. Thank you. Um, as I said, diverse portfolio. Uh, what was it that uh, you <clears throat> saw in Solgold that brought you to the company? Solgold is a uh, very exciting junior exploration company. Uh, it does have a portfolio of tenements in the Solomon Islands in Queensland. Uh, but also in Ecuador. And it's the Ecuador project, Cascabel, that really attracted me. Uh, the potential at Cascabel is such that it could be a company maker uh, for the project. And there's three key things that I look at in exploration companies, and that's people, projects, and jurisdiction. Uh, we have the people, we have a good board, we have a very exciting project at Cascabel. It could be uh, you know, a major porphyry uh, copper gold deposit. And uh, the jurisdiction is excellent. Uh, Ecuador is opening its doors to mining, wants the uh, international mining community to sort of uh, go in and explore and develop mining projects and it's making performance to its uh, mining act. So all those three things uh, and I like the company so much that I actually invested in the recent fundraising. I put my money where I, my mouth is. Well exa exactly, putting so, your money where the mouth is. <laughs> Let me talk a little bit about your background and, and what you bring to the company. Um, I bring uh, technical and financial markets experience. Uh, I actually started my career as a, as a geologist. Uh, I did a um, uh, honors bachelor of science degree majoring in geology in uh, the early 80s. Uh, I completed that degree in 1985. I then traveled to Australia, worked as an exploration geologist uh, in Australia for about seven years. And in the late 80s, I realized that there was more to the mining industry than just the technical side. Um, so I completed a diploma in applied finance and investment analysis. And I joined a, uh, a major Australian bank in 1992 as a mining analyst. And for the last 20 years, I've been researching mining companies, investing in mining projects, and really looking for those companies, and especially the last five years, looking for those companies and junior exploration companies that have projects that can really launch them into mid-sized mining companies. Mm. And again, that's w where I see exp uh, uh, Soul Gold and its uh, portfolio. Very exciting. Well, let's, let's talk in some more detail about some of the points you, you, you mentioned, because I do want to talk a little bit more about the focus of the company. Mm -hmm. You've said it is predominantly on, on the Cascabel project. Mm -hmm. Can you give us some more detail about what's going on there? Um, yeah, the focus, the, the focus and the strategy at Soul Gold that I would like to sort of uh, uh, bring is that um, uh, we want to maximize uh, shareholder value um, and create shareholder value by uh, deploying exploration funds to the best project. And despite the fact that we have prospective tenements in the Solomon Islands, in Queensland, mm -hmm. the focus really is to um, um, uh, put our funds into Ecuador, into Cascabel, because that's where we can get the biggest bang for our buck mm. and for shareholder return. Why Ecuador? That has to be asked, really, because there sure. are other projects around the world that would mm -hmm. fulfill the criteria, but why Ecuador in particular? Yeah, Ecuador is, a, uh, is underexplored. Uh, Ecuador is a very fertile uh, uh, region for uh, major... Uh, rich copper gold deposits. It's on the Andean Cordillera uh, and uh, Cascabel is northwestern Ecuador. Uh, it's, uh, it hasn't had any exploration. It's, it's a virgin discovery. Uh, we've had some excellent results uh, with our exploration program. Uh, we are uh, uh, in the region of, of, of elephants as a, as a term that used in the mining industry. 60 kilometers away there's a, a major copper uh, porphyry already being developed by Cadelco. And um, uh, as I said, Ecuador are opening the doors to um, to the exploration and mining industry. Mm. What stage are you at, and, and what do you where do you go from here on the project? Uh, we are uh, currently uh, in the final process of uh, environmental permit. Uh, we've uh, we've uh, uh, lodged the permit, uh, and we are awaiting uh, final process um, of the uh, permit. That will give us the uh, the uh, right to um, to drill uh, at Cascabel. We're mobilizing uh, our drilling equipment, and um, as soon as we get the uh, the permit, uh, uh, we will be commencing drilling. And given the mineralization at Cascabel is 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 chalk pyrite bornite, you can see it. Uh, we would look to get that information out to the, uh, the market as soon as possible, and within 30, 40 days, uh, assay results. And from then on, it's a it's a case really of drilling the project and to see how big this potential discovery could be. Mm. Very exciting time for the company. Mm. Um, so what's the, <clears throat> what do you see as the investment case? I mean, you, you've got this project all set up before you, and uh, as I say, you're new to the business. You're obviously uh, very enthusiastic about mm. the opportunities here. Um, what do you say to potential investors? Well, uh, investors uh, have 
the globe to look at in terms of invest, mm -hmm. investment opportunities. And um, it's very important to have the right people, to have a, a project that can be a company maker for uh, a junior company, the right jurisdiction. And we are looking to make a discovery which, if, in terms of value terms, if you take the, uh, uh, the value of the copper and the gold uh, that we're getting in our trench results, we're getting trench results of 45 meters, for example, at 0.6% copper, 0.8 grams per ton gold. If you take those grades and convert them into a gold equivalent, and we make a discovery uh, of the size that we're hoping to make, it would equate to tens of millions of ounces. Mm. That's a dream project for any junior exploration company, and even a major mining company would love to have that project. So that's, that's exciting. Okay, Alan, mm. it's a pleasure to talk to you, and uh, right. thanks for dropping mm. by. Great, thanks very much. Alan Martin, he's the Chief mm. Executive of Soul Gold.